Right, this is a Pilates class, basic Pilates. You need a block and you may need blankets for your spine, for your back. Or come to, to stand in the middle of your mat. So to start, actually, let's have our heels together. You see my feet are into a V shape. Palms facing forward. And try to squeeze your legs towards one another. Find the alignment of your ears, shoulders, hips, and heels. And then from here, you're just going to open the heels. So now your feet are straight, parallel to one another. Keep a little bend to the knees. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. With the breathing, you inhale through the nose. And exhale. This way, pursing your lips to exhale. You inhale through the nose. Arms up, exhale with the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Now next time you inhale, your arms are up. Keep them up. I'm gonna lean to your right side, I'm mirroring you. Bring your bottom arm down. So you just feel more of a stretch here. And what you're going to do is to reach your bottom fingers down, bring the other arm a little bit away from your ear and reach your fingers up. So you're more of an active stretch. From here, bring the bottom arm up. Inhale, bring yourself all the way up to the center. Exhale, you go to the other side. So release your bottom arm down. So for now, it's just a simple stretch and to feel more active here reach your bottom fingers down and the top arm up so your fingers are reaching in opposite direction lift the bottom arm up inhale come back up to center exhale lower your arms down you can roll your shoulders Make sure so sideways your knees are a little bit bent. And you're going to start to lift your heels and down, heels up and down. So again, imagine that you are, uh, your legs are to get together and you're squeezing your legs towards one another. And you are actually um, engaging the, the glutes, engaging the core. So it's much easier to be able to, yeah, to lift our heels, to be able to keep our heels off the floor. Now, if you want to, if you want to add the arms, inhale, arms up on the heels are up, exhale, arms down. Inhale, exhale. Remember to breathe, inhale through the nose, exhale, inhale, exhale. And maybe play with that pause. You have your heels up, whoop. Heels up, arms up, stay like this, look straight ahead. The ribs are back, the belly is tight. Inhale, exhale, bring your heels down first and lower your arms down. All right, just shake your legs, it'd be nice to do that. You're gonna take the block. So you hold the block this way, fingers pointing forward. You press the base of your fingers against the block. And bring your arms up. And what we're going to do here is march. So lift one knee up and the other and keep pressing the block. This is actually a way to engage the core too. Make sure you're not in a back bend. You're not leaning back. You're trying to keep everything in one line. Relax your shoulders more away from your ears. And you keep breathing. So I see when I'm looking actually my arms a little bit far, which is okay, but don't bring your arms too far back. I was looking actually because I'm looking at the screen, but my arms should be, I should see my biceps actually. And this will help for our world day and we'll do, we'll do soon. And then one more to right knee up, 
left knee up, lower your arms down, roll your shoulders. Right, so we're gonna do standing, some uh, standing series for leg, for the legs, and so on. To make it a little bit more challenging, uh, you place a block on your mat and you're gonna place, so again, I'm mirroring you, place your right foot on the block. It's hard to tell because the block is light and my mat is light, but. And then you may notice, so, so place your hands on your hips and your, your fingers are in front of your hips. You may notice if I you kind of a relax the leg, the leg that's not on the block, you may notice that one hip, your right hip for you is higher than the, the other hip. So we don't want that. So you're gonna, what we call packing up the hip. And then you lower the foot down a bit, you tap the floor and pack up the hip. You wanna make sure you're not moving from the knee. You are moving from the hip. The other knee, both knees can be a little bit bent, but it's not, there's no motion here. Again, your arms straight, ears, shoulders, hips, and heels aligned. Now, next time your hips are hiked up, so you should have your ASIS, the front of your hips level. You're gonna bring your leg to the side. One, two, can open your arms for more bounce, three, and this can be done also without the block, four, five, six, seven, you flex your foot, huh? eight, nine, 10. Now keep the foot up, rest a little bit if you need, you try to keep the foot up. Now you're gonna point your foot, bring the foot forward, you're just tapping your big toe on the floor and then you lift, you lift the leg up. Just the leg, leg. use your core to lift the leg. So make sure your torso is not moving. So just check that, place your hands maybe on your torso so you're not shifting forward or back. This is probably four here. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now flex the foot and you're gonna swing the leg. Swing the leg forward and back. Probably feel that leg or that, yes. Good, place the foot down, release the other foot. What we need to do is probably to shake and tap. That can be a lot for the leg. Yes, work around the block. Let's do the other side, the other leg. So you're gonna step now for you, your left foot on the block. You wanna make sure so you don't squish your toes, you relax your toes on the block. And you can have your hands on your hips so you can feel the piking up of the hip. When you relax your foot completely, your foot is on the floor. You feel, you see, you can see on my side, my one hand is lower than the other. And then you pike up, so you leveled your hand your hands. I'll do that a couple of times, just to get the feel that how much we can engage actually our hips, we can plug in or the femur bone into the hip socket. Now keep actually now your foot flex and bring the leg to the side, one. It's not too much to the side, huh? two. And again, I'm not leaning to the side. Three, my torso straight, try to stay steady. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't, don't touch the floor, try not to. Nine, 10. So you can take a little rest in between. But now go back, flex the foot, point your toes, you tap the front and you lift the leg up. One, two, three, four. So everything is engaged. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Now flex the foot and swing the leg forward and back, forward and back. Moving from the hip. Good, bring the foot down, let go of the block. Definitely shake the legs. You may probably felt the block, the leg that was on the block, you felt it. All right. Come to the end of the mat. So you have space, you have your mat in front of you. Let's just stretch our legs. So you're gonna place your hands uh, at the top of your thighs, little bent on the knees, inhale. As exhale, you can start to hinge. Maybe you can start to round your back or if you want, or hinge at your hips. I just want you to get into your legs here. So go as low as it feels comfortable. And then you may want to bring the weight of your body more towards your toes. So you're getting a good stretch in the back of the legs. And you can release your arms too. Let your arms dangle. Always keep a bent in the knee, a slight bent in the knees. And let's use the breathing. Inhale, and when you exhale, slowly come back up. So engage the core, squeeze your glutes, and come back up. Now, we're going to repeat that with our arms. This time, you're going to bring your arms up towards the ceiling. And you still see the biceps on the sides. Again, bend your knees a bit. Inhale. As you exhale, imagine there's a big, giant beach ball in front of you. You're going to dive. And your arms stay lifted, just like a diver. Keep your arms lifted. Reach, reach, reach forward. You can round your back more than I, that I'm doing. I'm not supposed to round my back too much. I'm keeping my back flat, more like in a yoga. Inhale here, and when you exhale, come back up. So if you feel, wow, it's really hard to come back up, well, don't go as low next time. When you bring your arms down, push your hands back, little chest extension. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And we'll repeat that. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, bend your knees in a little bit more and start to go into that. So look at, my, look at the screen. Look at my hips. I'm gonna to start to go into a posterior tilt, which is okay. If you have any spine issue, this is not the spine. We're talking about the hips. And then start to dive down. Keep your arms lifted, either with a neutral back or a rounded back. It's up to you. Don't go too low because you know you have to come back up. Inhale, exhale. The exhalation, your core helps you to come back up. Keep pulling, exhale, exhale, exhale. Keep pulling the belly in. Your arms are still right where you started and lower your arms down. Bring your palms back. That should feel good actually for your shoulders, should feel good for your, your, um, your back, also your upper back. One more time this way, arms up. Inhale, exhale, go down, reach down, keep exhaling. Inhale, and exhale, come back up. Once you're all the way up, same thing, bring your arms down, palms facing back. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back, and actually let's do that, palms facing each, each other behind your back, and push, one, pull, pulse your arms, Three, four, bellies in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake it off. All right. So now I'm going to do a different way. I'm going to come more down into plank, but same way. Inhale, you reach your arms up. Keep your arms a little bit in front of you as you exhale. Roll down or come more with a neutral back like I'm doing. And then here you might want to bend your knees a bit more. Have your fingers on the floor. You walk your hands to the top of your mat to come to your high push-up or plank pose. 
you hold here, bring your shoulders away from your ears. Keep the back of the neck long. Inhale, as you exhale, pike up your hips. It's like a downward dog in, in yoga. And walk your hands back. So bend your knees. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And then this time you can roll up, keeping your arms along your sides. And next time we'll keep our arms up. For the first one, we roll our back up with our arms more relaxed. The second time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, dive down. Remember to use the breathing. I'm talking, so it's hard to exhale properly each time, but remind yourself when you exhale, it's, the sound is like that. <sighs> like you want to whistle, actually. Bend your knees, walk your hands. Maybe you're leading with your right hand first. Try to bring your left hand first. And then your right hand, left hand. And you're trying to set yourself into this beautiful plank. Shoulders above your wrist. The back of the neck is long. And maybe let's do one little push-up. So bend your elbows back. And then come back up. Pike up your hips like a downward dog. This is for upstretch in Pilates. And then walk your hands back. So maybe first with your left hand, then the right hand, then the left hand. And this time, bring your arms up already by your ears. Keep your knees bent. Use the core. So exhale. Remember, you're exhaling on the effort from all the way up. You stand, you're coming up with your arms. This way, above, um, up to the ceiling. Release your arms down to rest. I will right, we'll do one more time, and then we'll come down on the floor. All right, inhale, arms up. Exhale, remember, use the exhalation. Come down, reach, 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 reach down. You should feel good for your back. You get a good stretch in the legs also and back. Walk your hands, so left hand, right hand, to the top of your mat. Just stay like this into your plank pose. Make sure your shoulders are not up, so bring your shoulders away from your ears. Let's do two push-up. One, two, oh, why not? Another one, three. Minds are little. You don't have to touch the floor. Pike up your hips, downward dog. And walk your hands back to your feet. Keep your arms up now, arms along your ears or maybe along your cheeks. And inhale here, exhale. Your exhalation, your core helps you to come back to stand. Release your arms to your side. I promise now this time we'll stay down. We're going to go back. Roll down, but we are staying down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come down. Walk your hands. One more plank. This way. And bring your knees to the floor. You might want to come to a little child's pose here. You can keep your toes curled under just to stretch our toes. Push your hips back. And you're gonna come to sit. I'm gonna prepare actually already my mat for my back. And actually here, you may even wanna sit on a blanket when you're sitting this way with your knees bent, your feet are flat. Because sometimes what's happening, we're not quite on our sitting bones and we're more towards our tailbone like that. And it's hard to keep ourselves upright. And this is the same pose you have when you're standing. You have your ears, shoulders, hips aligned. It's the same thing. Your legs are bent a bit. Your feet are flat. Your legs are together. I'm going to do a half roll down. So here, posterior tilt. I did not mention that enough when we're standing. So let's focus more on this part. It's as if you're trying to tuck your tailbone under. So it goes like this and then come back. So just stay like this. You can have your hands on your legs if you want, or arms in front of you, but make sure your shoulders are, are away from your ears. Posterior tilt. 
and back. So when you're in posterior tilt, now you feel like you're more into the tailbone and then you come back onto your sitting, bo sitting bones. Keep going this way. This is probably one of the main part, the main, um, yeah, main part, main idea of, of, of our rolling down. So now next time you're in posterior tilt, stay here. You might want to place, I'm going to place first my hands. Actually, I'm going to bring my feet a little bit closer. You can place your hands under your knees. Again, make sure you're not like this, shoulders away, and start to roll down a little bit. Keep your uh, arm. Um, you can round your back. I'm showing one time, but this is not good for my back, so I'm going to keep my back more upright, more straight, more neutral. Inhale, and when you exhale, you come back upright. Good. Inhale. Exhale, posterior tilt, come down a little bit. Maybe you have your arms off the legs. You can come like this and then slowly come back up. Inhale, exhale. So start with the tailbone. The tailbone is part of the spine. So that's why we start to do that posterior tilt and then start to go a little bit lower. Maybe you can place your hands and go a little bit lower, a little bit lower. I'm going to bring my hands, my forearms on the floor and lie down on my back. But you can roll all the way down without using your hands if you can. All right. Talking about posterior tilt, we're going to practice our bridge, our bridge in Pilates. It's a little bit different than uh, in, in yoga, just a bit. Your knees are bent and your feet are flat on the floor. And just like we're doing for half full down, you're going to start to do a posterior tilt as if you're tucking your tailbone under. And then you lift your hips. You lift your lower back, mid back, and a little bit the upper back. It's not really this beautiful rounded bridge. It's more of a straight bridge. Now inhale, only if it's comfortable for your spine. You're gonna, as you exhale, you're gonna bring just your upper back to the floor and then try to bring your mid back and then your lower back and your hips. So the idea is, and I'm not doing it because again, I can't do it. I'm not supposed to do it. But the idea is to imagine you're trying to touch one vertebra back on the floor, one after another. All right, let's do that again. So posterior tilt, like well, you see that little, your pubic bone comes higher up than your belly button. Then you lift your hips, you lift your lower back, mid back, upper back, push your feet on the floor, your hands are flat along your side. Inhale, and when you exhale, you can come all the way back on, down on the, on the floor with your hips down, but or, or practice that roll down. So you can try to touch your upper back first, go slowly down, control the movement, and then your mid back, your lower back. Lower back is really hard, I find, I find and hips. Good, one more time, inhale, exhale. You start with the pelvis, then you lift your hips, lift your lower back, Mid back, a little bit the upper back. And as you exhale, lower slowly down. Good. All right, let's bring our knees to the chest. Just rock a little bit side to side. You can roll your head a little bit side to side too. And then from here, you're gonna bring your legs into a tabletop. Oh, tabletop, your knees are above your hips pretty much and your feet can be pointed actually here in Pilates, feet level with your knees. Open your arms to a T, palms facing down. You'll make sure you're not lifting from your mid back. So press your mid back to the floor, the rib cage area. Inhale, when you exhale, remember, exhale with the mouth. Bring your knees halfway down to the right. It could be 
It doesn't have to be all the way halfway. It could be less than halfway. So using your left obliques here to hold your legs. Take a deep breath in. Don't move your legs yet. Exhale. Now you can bring your legs back to the center. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your legs to the left. Same way. So halfway or a little bit less than halfway. Hold this way. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees back up. You may feel one side feels easier. It's always the case. Let's do one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Lower your knees to the right. Again, it's not a stretch. Huh? A stretch. It's a core exercise working on the obliques here. Inhale, exhale, come back to center. Make sure when you're in the center, your mid back is pressed on the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees to the left. Obviously when you go to your left, your back, the right side of your back is off the floor, that's normal. But you're trying to keep your shoulder relaxed on the floor. Inhale here, don't move yet. Exhale, come back to center. Bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees, rock side to side. Again, you can roll your head side to side. So that's why it's important to, important to have a blanket underneath us or a towel. So when you, again, you have your legs into tabletop, if you feel it's so hard to keep the mid back on the floor or so that's why it's nice to place something under your back even under your head all right now we're going to practice the hundreds your arms going to be along your sides but away from the floor and let's just do the arms first so you inhale when you exhale you're going to go so it's five counts and when you inhale, it's the same. You pump the arms, but then you go. So you inhale five counts with uh, the nose. Exhale. So I would say if it, this is hard to do the legs into tabletop, it's hard. We eventually you can lift your head. I would rather you don't do the legs, you keep your legs this way, but you get into the proper breathing and you pump the arms. So this is really more beginner to keep the feet on the floor, but you are still working the core because you're pumping the arms with the breath. So you can do it this way, okay? So let's try anyway with the legs and tabletop. Now, if you want to tuck your chin in and lift your head up just this way, I'm going to show you just one time. And again, I'm not going to stay here, even though I love it. Inhale. When you exhale, you're going to start to pump the arms. Inhale. Exhale. And then keep going this way. Your head can stay and come down if you want. I know I can't hear you breathing, but just, you know, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Keep pumping the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure your mid-back is on the floor. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring your head down. If it was up, bring your knees to your chest and roll side to side. These were the hundreds. I'm not sure if we did hundreds beats like that with the arms, but pretty close to it. Now you're going to keep the right knee to your chest. Bring the left leg on the floor. Let's stretch actually our left leg. So left leg on the floor, right knee to your chest. You're going to hold, you're going to place your left hand at the top of your right knee. The other hand, the right hand is by the ankle. 
just where the bone is. It can be a little bit higher up if you can reach. Your left leg is gonna be pointed also, so you have point both feet, and your left leg is gonna be straight off the floor. So it can be a little bit higher up, a little bit lower. It all depends on your back. You wanna keep your mid back on the floor. Now, same thing, you can curl in and just stay up this way if you want. Inhale, exhale, you switch. So you hold the same way. Your right hand now is holding your left knee and left hand is holding the ankle. Right leg straight. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, you switch the legs. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale. Move slowly. Inhale. Make sure we're not wobbling side to side, side to side. Sometimes that happens. Only your legs are moving. Your torso is not moving. Your head is not moving. Only your arms and your legs, actually. If you're like, what's the position of my knee again? Look at the screen or just hold your legs where you can hold them. It's fine. And try to bring your leg, your leg when it extends, try to bring it a little bit lower because you're a little bit more warmed up now. You can do it probably. One more with the right, hold here. Give your leg, left leg goes a little bit lower. One more with the left, left knee to the chest. Maybe right leg a little bit lower, relax the shoulders. And bring both knees to your chest. Head is down if it was up, walk side to side. So same thing now uh, for the head, that is, if you're comfortable to, if you start to feel your neck when your head was lifting, well, I would say keep your head on, on the floor, okay? You don't want to put more pressure on the neck. If you feel comfortable to get into that little ball shape, you tuck your chin in, you look at towards the belly button. And this is your starting point. You hold your legs close to your, to your chest. When you inhale, you're going to extend your legs, extend your arms over your head. And exhale, bring everything back together. Okay, and that's the move. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, legs stay together. Huh? You extend, you point your feet, arms over your head, hold here. Exhale, bring arms back, hugging your legs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, even if your head is on the floor, keep your, your chin tucked. But the breathing is important, just like in yoga, inhale, like straight, arms straight, exhale. Like when I say like straight, arms straight, like stay together, obviously your arms into a V-shape, exhale, or maybe closer to your ears, kind of like in a V-shape. One more, inhale, try to hold like this. Hold, 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 maybe lower your legs a little bit more. And bring your knees to your chest. Rock side to side. Obviously, now your head is down. Again, you can roll your head side to side. And if you're comfortable to roll onto your spine, back and forth, you can do that. Oh, just like I'm doing, you can roll to one side and come. Come to sit again. Let's take the block. You're gonna open your legs as wide as your mat. You flex your feet this time. Your toes are pointing up. And same thing, you make sure you're on your sitting bones. Take the block with you. So it's a little bit like the roll down we did earlier, except now we're sitting. Your fingers are pointing forward. And bring your arms up 
And again, I'm not going to be here because this will be way too much for actually the, feels like it's forcing. So keep your arms closer, a little bit forward so you can see your biceps. You inhale, when you exhale, start to really tuck your tailbone, so uh, posterior tilt, and then reach forward. Reach forward, keep your arms lifted. Press to block. Don't go too far down, okay? You can bend your knees if you want, if you feel that it's easier on your back or it's easier on the hamstring. Inhale here, exhale, come back upright and lower the blocks, the block and your arms down in between. All right, so I'm keeping my legs straight, but again, you can keep, you can have them bent. Arms up, press the block. We prepare with the breathing, inhale, exhale, reach forward. So this is a way actually to stretch our back, to stretch our legs after all the abs exercise, the hundreds, the single leg stretch and double leg stretch. You just did. Inhale and exhale, come back up. Take a break in between, lower your arms. Okay. Right. One more time. Lift your arms up, inhale, and exhale. Make sure your feet are flexed. Use the exhalation, pull, pull, pull the navel. And it's like someone is holding you by your belly like this behind you and it's pulling you back, pulling you back, but you're reaching forward at the same time. Inhale and exhale, come back. Upright, release your hands down. Place the block to the side. Bring your hands behind you and give a little chest a stretch here. Stretching also the upper back. Good. All right. Um, let's keep our legs. Sorry, bring your legs together, knees bent. And it, this is just like the boat in... Uh, in yoga and it's more like a teaser prep it's called so you're gonna lean back bring one leg up the other leg up and you can be in into that position where your legs are bent and you have your hands behind your thighs or you can have your legs straight and point your feet chest lifted shoulders down if you want to release one arm and bring your arm back, the other arm, and down. Maybe both arms. I'm going to try one second. Yes. Bring your hands back. It's been harder for me to do this one lately. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your feet down. Extend the legs. Give a little bit of shake in your legs. Reopen your feet to the width of your mat, so still pointing up. And you're gonna bring, let's do this way. Take the block again. Same thing, bring your fingers pointing forward and you're gonna have the block close to you, close to your, to your chest. We're gonna do some um, seated twist. Those in Pilates is a little bit different. You wanna make sure you're turning from the obliques you're not turning from your legs. So just check that your legs are not moving. And also check that your block is always at the center of your chest. So you're not doing this, okay? Because this is not a twist. You're just moving your arms. All right, so let's try to do it. You're on your sitting bones for that. You can, again, by the way, you can bend your knees uh, if you need, especially if your hamstrings are killing you here. All right, sit nice and tall. You're going to inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're going to rotate the belly, the ribs to your right. So I'm not turning much. My block is facing my right foot. That's about it. Inhale, exhale, come back to center. Deep breath in. Inhale, exhale. Same thing. Rotate to the left just a little bit. So you should feel your obliques tur turning. When I rotate to the left, I'm using my right obliques. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, rotate to the left, and you are using your left 
uh, rotate, sorry, to your right and you're using your left obliques. Actually using both obliques, but there's um, one is a compression and extension on each side. And then come back. All right, let's do it again. Inhale, sit nice and tall. You need to really have a long spine to rotate. As you exhale, rotate a little bit to your right. I don't know which way I'm going, but I'm gonna go to the right again. Maybe you do to the left. Inhale, exhale to center. Deep breath in, in the middle. Exhale, rotate to your second side. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Good. Place uh, the block down. And now we're going to lie down on our back. So same thing. If you have a blanket underneath you, you can keep it there. It's fine. And especially you can have a blanket or a towel for your forehead. So you can breathe when your head is down on the floor. Bring your arms into a U shape. So for the first one, first one prep, we're not gonna move our head. You're gonna keep your head on the floor, on your towel. You're gonna bring your arms into a U, so your arms into a cactus or a U, cactus or a U shape. Oh, by the way, before we do anything with the arms, make sure your feet are pressed on the floor, your toenails are pressing. You are always pulling the navel in. Navel comes away from the floor. And then here, lift your arms. So you're staying in that U, U, and then you're gonna bring your elbows back as if you're coming to a W with your arms. And bring back, come back into the U and lower your arms down. So that's the movement we're doing, that's the exercise. Good, so inhale, lift the arms into the U. Exhale, come into W, trying to stay here. Stay a little bit longer into the W, so you wanna feel you squeezing the tips, the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Back to the U, arms into a U, and arms down. And we repeat. So notice if you relax the belly, keep the belly in. Push your feet to the floor. Just reassess each time you finish and you, you want to start again. Arms up. W. Arms into a U. Lower your arms down. Inhale. U. Exhale. W. Hold here. Hold here. Shoulders away from your ears. Arms into a U, lower down. One more time this way. Arms up, come to the W, try to hold W at least for 10 seconds. Bring your arms into a U, lower your arms down. Just relax a little bit here. So your arms are still into that cactus shape. You're gonna keep your hands on the floor. Push your hands into the floor. Start to lift your nose off the floor. And you're not gonna lift your nose too high up. Your nose, actually you imagine there's a marble in front of your nose and the marble is rolling in front of you and you keep looking at the floor. And maybe you lift a little bit more your chest Maybe your elbows can come a little bit off the floor, but you don't have to do it too much, okay? You don't want to compress your back. You want to lengthen the back. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly come back down so your ribs can touch the floor again, your chest, and your forehead is back on the floor. This is the part of the swan prep also. We call it swan, the animal, the bird. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, exhale, lift your nose. 
So don't lift your head too much because you keep looking at the floor, push your hands, lift your chest. Maybe you lift a little bit your elbows on the floor. Your arms can come straight if you want, but I found sometimes it's too much of an extension of the back. Deep breath in. And when you exhale, slowly release down. Your forehead touches last. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lift your nose, lift your forehead. Remember, you're still looking at the floor the entire time. Push with your hands. Keep the belly in. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. And exhale, slowly come back down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Lift your hips, come to your chest pose. Stretch your back again. Your arms can be in front of you if you want or along your sides. And let's come to sit. Well, again, I'm using my blanket, you don't have to. Sit on your right hip. Uh, probably not gonna mirror you here, but um, it's okay, do the opposite. And so make sure you sit on your right hip. All right, your right hand is gonna be on your side and you're just gonna bring your left arm up, coming to a little side bend. You don't have to have your elbow down. You can keep the, uh, the bottom elbow bent, but um, it doesn't have to touch the floor. And then slowly come up. Now we do the opposite. Your left hand, that was your top hand, it's gonna touch your foot and your right arm is gonna go up. So that's a deeper side bend, as you can tell, as you can feel. It's a good one though, I love that. It's called the mermaid. I want to repeat that. Place your right hand down, left arm up, coming to a side bend. Then push up, bring your hand down on the foot, lift the other arm up. So now I have something else in mind. So you can go to that first stretch with it. Now bring your arms straight, stack your knees, stack your feet and lift your hips off the floor. So you're also almost like a kneeling side plank. Again, you can just be here if you want, okay? Try to bring the, that bottom shoulder away from the ear. And then lower your hips down, bring your, I'm gonna rearrange my feet, so both feet on the floor. Bring your left hand on your one foot or both feet and stretch to the other side. Good, release and let's switch side. For now, you can just have your feet the way it's comfortable. Your knees don't have to be stuck. I have more one knee, so the knees actually are leveled. And your left hand is in, on the floor. You can bend the elbow already, lift your right arm, lean to the side. And push up, bring your right hand on your foot and go to the other side. A deeper stretch here on this side. Huh? And bring your hand down on the floor, lift your right arm up with this more gentle side bend. Remember your bottom arm can be bent and then come up. Right hand touching one foot, 
reach your left arm up. And then this time your hand is down. Let's come to our side stretch first. And let's come to prepare to our kneeling side plank. So I'm stack, stacking my knees and keeping the arms straight here. And you can have, actually keep your wrist in front of the shoulder. So when you lift up, your shoulder will be stacked over the wrist. Your right arm is up, your left arm can be your long, your right arm, sorry, can be along your ear. Keep your chest lifted. And then lower your hips down. I'm gonna reset my knees so they're leveled on the floor. Right hand touching one foot and go to your side bend, your mermaid side bend. Come to your hands and knees. Let's do some cow and cow. Shoulders away from your ears. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat. Keep your back neutral like I'm doing. If you're not supposed to round your back, or otherwise do this beautiful rounding shape of your back. Keep your back to neutral position. Make sure you have space behind you. Gonna bring the right leg back. Your foot is on the floor. Lift your left knee a little bit off the floor. So right foot is back. My left knee comes off the floor and bring your left leg straight coming to your high plank again. Good, bring your left knee down, bring the right knee down. I am going to repeat this on the other side. First, bring the left leg back, your toes on the floor, and lift your right knee off the floor. This is core. Bring the right leg back. You're in your high push-up. Bring the right knee down. Bring the left knee down. Sit back into your chest pose. We're going to do one more uh, plank variation. This is too much. You can be done always one knee on the floor or even on your forearms you can do that. And come back to your hands and knees. Bring the right leg back. Repeat what we just did. Bring the left knee a little bit off the floor and extend the left leg. Now, in your plank pose, bring the left your right foot up, not too high up. Bring it down. Bring your left foot up. And bring it down. Bring your knees to the floor. Press back to your child's pose. One more time, different. We're going to start with our left side. Bring your left leg back. Lift the right knee a little bit off the floor and come to your full plank. And this time you're going to bring the left leg up. Bring it down. Right foot up. Bring it down. Bring your knees to the floor, child's pose. Back to your hands and knees. Now we're gonna go back up to stand. So to do that, up stretch or downward dog. Pedal your feet, that's nice to stretch the back of the legs. Keep your knees bent, walk your hands back to your feet. And you can keep your arms relaxed and slowly come up to stand. And when you're all the way up, 
Roll your shoulders. Let's stretch our wrists. Interlace your fingers and circle your wrists. So just this way. Circle your hands the other way. Change the cross of your fingers, same thing. Circle your hands at your wrists. And the other direction. Shake your hands. Come to the middle of your mat, so if you have things on your mat, take it away. Come back to that V shape, Pilates stance, into a V. Keep your heels together. You can actually your hands on your hips or arms out to the side or just hold on to something if you need more balance. Lift your heels up. And down. So trying to keep your heels together when you're lifting your feet up and bringing them back down, up and down. So sometimes we do that, but try not to. Huh? Everything is really engaged to the midline. Heels together. Belly is tight. Ribs are in. All right, now I'm going to trick you even more. So don't look at the screen because it's a very tricky. You're going to lift your heels up. You're going to turn your head to the right. So hard. Bring your head back to the center. Lower your heels down. That's a hard one. Lift your heels up. Now turn your head to the left. I'm opening my arms for a better balance. Bring your head back to the center. Lower your heels down. All right. Now we're going to keep our feet flat. Turn your head again to the right. From here, you're going to lower your chin down, looking at your right shoulder. Then the chin follows the collarbone, so you have the center of the chest. Your chin goes to the left, towards the left shoulder, and lift your head up so your head is turned to the right and your bottom chin, the chin is, sorry, the Chin is parallel to the floor, the bottom of the chin. And bring your head back to center. Now you're going to turn your head to the left. Bring your chin down. So you're looking at your left shoulder. Your chin lies at the center of the chest. Roll your chin to the right shoulder. Lift the chin up so your head is turned to the side. You're looking at the right side of the room. And slowly bring your head back to center. Open your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. Long exhale. Inhale, arms up. And exhale. And that's it. Thank you. You are done. See you next time.